How are you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Uh, today's job is an EX1200 bucket cylinder rod and eye. So this rod's out of a cylinder on an EX1200 Atashi excavator. Uh, this cylinder crowds the bucket in and out. So the EX1200s are commonly found in mining, uh, not generally civil works. Being the size of the machine, mining is predominantly their main operation. So the customers brought it in with a few minor problems. So um, as you can see, the rod's got a lot of scoring, a lot of scratches and a lot of damage to it. And um, so that's pretty serious, but the other problem is the eye fell off. So this is pretty common, getting a rod to our workshop in this sort of state. We do get them coming through quite regularly with um, you know, damaged rods, bent rods, um, eyes ripped off or eyes ripped in half. A lot of people might think that the weld has failed here. That is incorrect. The weld is actually intact. So from there to there, that is the weld joint on the rod. And the eye is actually broken about 20 mil away from the weld joint. It is common, we do find that a lot. They generally don't break through, through the weld. It either breaks the eye off or it breaks the eye in half. As you can see by the eye, you can see the fatigued areas here. So it's actually broken one side completely and the other side started to go, then it finally broke off. And that's because of a, a side loading that's been applied to the rod while it's been operated on the machine. So being in the industry as long as we have been, you do get to know a lot of people. We have a metallurgist, he's actually a good friend of mine. He came in to, have to inspect the eye. Uh, we did some testing on the eye to find out exactly what material it was. He determined it would be in our best interest not to use the old eye on a new rod um, as it was the parent material that failed, it wasn't the welded joint. The customers agreed rather than risking a new rod using the old eye, we're going to manufacture a new eye and a new rod. Yeah, that's a problem. Let's chip it on. Crack. Yeah. Right, guys, so this is probably going to be a two part video. The first thing we're going to start on is we're going to start by machining up the new eye. So, the eye material we keep in stock for these cylinders is a piece of 200 mil 350 grade plate. So we get these flame cut from our local supplier. We just supply them a pattern or a drawing on what we want. And this is what they supply to us. So the first thing we've got to do for this, we're going to grab a grinder, clean up all the edges, clean up all the faces. We've got a few marks uh, right there from the cutting process. We'll tidy all that up. Then we're going to set it up in the lathe. We're going to skim both faces to bring it down to a final dimension. Then we'll throw it in the mill, put two center holes in either end, and then we'll start turning it in the machine with a four jaw.
Righto guys, so we've faced both sides of the eye now, we've got that down to size. While it's set up in the machine, we're going to put the big boring bar in, we're going to bore it to size. We're going to take it from a 160mm flame cut hole out to 174.8. That's our crush on our bearing, so uh, we're going to get started on that. Hundred and ninety six point one. Ninety eight point oh five. Ninety eight point oh five. The center's gonna be somewhere. Down there. Done.
about to put the grease socket in the end of this eye. Um, we're going to have a lot of dramas trying to drill that with, say, a high-speed steel uh, end mill or something to put the recess in. So because there's a flame cut edge there, it's very, very hard, and the high-speed steel end mills just don't like it. So we're going to go in with an indexable end mill first, probably a 16 mil indexable end mill, and then once we open it up a little bit, we'll put in a 25 mil indexable end mill, and then we'll open the hole up. Rather than destroying a high-speed steel cutter, we'll just use our um, indexable end mills.
Right, oh guys, so we've got the eye set up in the machine now. We're spinning it with our four jaw, with our centering plug, and our heavy duty live center. I've welded some blocks on the on the back side of the eye here just to give it a little bit more support and pick up those other two, two jaws. So plenty of support now. We're gonna get in to start machining the weld prep on this end.
Just don't lean. It looks really good. <laughs> You've got to lean. Don't... That's fine. That's fine. So this rods off an. Oh. <laughs> so this rods off an EX twelve hundred. Uh, Hatak. Oh, fuck. This cylinder crowds the bucket in and out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> so on the machine, this cylinder. This yeah what? I'm <laughs> 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 gonna show you what it's all about. I don't know what I'm fucking... Ah, uh, so, where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know what I'm going with that. So we'll show you what they're about. Wait, what are we doing now? <laughs> do we do that? The eye fell off. <laughs> Generally a... Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck. So, we... Oh, fuck. We, we... Now I'm all fucked up. Right, guys, so the piece of material... Oh. This... No. Hey. hey mate, what's happening? Ship that fucking insert. Well that's it. That's it. Nice and simple. Ow. Motherfucker. <laughs> yep. Righto guys, so we've now got it set up set up. Oh, fuck. Righto guys. Oh, fuck. But, um Funny, eh? So we've actually got a oh, fuck. Righto, guys, we've got the eye set up in the machine. Oh. <laughs> fuck me. Jesus. And so we're gonna just gonna make it look good. What? What are you hiding behind me for? <laughs> no. Ready? No. Ready? Uh, yep. Is that recording? Oh no, I don't think so. I was meant to stay in the office, but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs>